Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and I'm standing in front of a 1928 Ford pickup truck. This baby's got a 350 under the hood. The top comes off. The bed's great. You're going to love checking this one out. So go to our website at VanguardMotorSales.com. We'll put it in the air so you can check out the underside. We're going to take a look at the 350, the interior. We're going to show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision on your Ford pickup truck investment. So come on up and we'll take a look. All right, let's check this 28 out. The chrome on the grill surround looks great. Headlights, beautiful. Now the front fenders are um, fiberglass, hood steel, the body steel, but this cowl piece is fiberglass. That looks like where they took out the gas tank, they replaced it. Doors are steel, they operate great. Rest of the cab is steel also. These rear fenders are fiberglass, the bed is steel, gorgeous um, woodwork here, looks like stainless steel rungs in here, real easy to do the gas, the gas fills right here, easy to get at, paint work in here looks great. Look down the side of it, straight as an arrow, the body work is phenomenal on there. Now check out the pictures, we got a lift off top. Just two bolts go uh, one on either side here and then it attaches up here on the windshield. Real easy on and off. Doors operate nice and smooth. And at Vanguard Motor Sales, we are the largest non-consignment dealer in the United States. That means we own all of our inventory, guys. We've got about 190 cars in stock right now. And when we get them back here to the shop, we inspect them so we can answer all your questions when you call at 248. 974-9513. Now let's take a look at this interior. Look at that door panel, beautiful custom work there. Great looking custom work inside also. It's got a custom B&M shifter. Seat belts are all installed. And take a look at the dash. Beautiful steering wheel. Great looking dolphin gauges. Aftermarket radio in there. Just all the fit and finish is beautiful on the truck. All right, let's take Thumper for a ride. Where you wanna go? Look at that, no hands on the wheel. This little truck drives fantastic, guys. What a sweet ride, I tell ya. Hop in this baby and go anywhere. Hey, Tommy answers his phone seven days a week and practically 24 hours a day. So give him a call anytime. He'll tell you all about this truck and just how easy it is to park this dream in your drive. Man, it is a beautiful day to have the top off. Now you can haul the, uh, it's got the removable hard top. It's real easy. You can actually just about do it by yourself. Two people, it's really easy to do. You can haul it in the bed of the truck. So if you want to head out to a car show, just in case, you know, you get caught in a little rain or you get tired of the sun. Man, this thing's sweet. So call Tom anytime. He answers the seven days a week and practically 24 hours a day. So give him a call. He'll tell you all about this beautiful little truck. She just driving awesome. Now look down here on the dash. Look at those gauges, all dolphin gauges. They are beautiful. My cameraman just kicked it in neutral. All these, uh, we got the Speedo here, the uh, RPMs, the uh, fuel level. The uh, water temp, oil pressure, voltage gauge, aftermarket radio, even they got a Ruga horn, man. So we're right outside the Motor City in Plymouth, Michigan. We love to have visitors. Matter of fact, we're only 20 minutes from the airport. So if you want to fly in and you want us to come down to the airport and pick you up, no problem whatsoever. We'll come down to the airport and pick you right up. And also, don't forget, we've got financing at Vanguard. We've got two different companies we work with. It takes about 15 minutes on the phone and we can park this dream on your driveway. No problem whatsoever. 
getting down the road here. So if you see something on the truck you'd like a little different, well, we can handle that at Vanguard. We can do just about anything to a car that you need done. So just talk to Tom about it. Here's our shop. We're at 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. Now you gotta stick around because we're gonna do something the other guys don't do. We're gonna put this up on the lift so you can see how beautiful the underside is. And you can bet we're gonna take a look at what's making the power up front. All right, guys, we're underneath Thumper now. Uh, this thing is pretty sweet underneath. As you can see, we've got this big, awesome fuel cell under here. I would say it's probably right around like a 15, 20 gallon cell, something of that nature. I know that I put probably 10 gallons in it and uh, it maybe brought it up to about this level as opposed to here. So I'd have to say it's probably right around a 20 gallon capacity. Uh, nice fuel uh, line on the thing. It's got, you know, the nice uh, EFI clamps on it and that kind of stands true without the truck. Um, we've got these coilover shocks in there, or I guess coilovers in, like, in the back, coilover suspension with the four link, I guess, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, it's hooked up to a Ford 8 inch rear end. Um, drums on either side of the axle, and uh, I personally have been through them. Everything is tight and right with them. I'll stand behind that. Uh, moving forward, this is the front of the axle. This right here is referred to as the waffle case. Uh, it's the stronger, the better of the four to eight inches where you have uh, the most strengthening ribs, and this is more of like a later style case. Uh, U-joint's good, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, this thing is roughly a 2.80 to one uh, rear end ratio, which is uh, the more common of the four to eight inch ratios. And like I said, Four link, all of our uh, bushings are in good shape on that thing. I've checked them out, everything's fine. We got our Goodyear lines in the back. This thing uh, has got actually a really nice brake pedal and that's something, you know, when people design their own braking systems for street rods, a lot of the time, uh, you know, you run into issues with that. This one was fine. We got it and I was, I was very impressed with how it stopped and how it drove. Um, frame on this thing is really nice. It's a, it's a custom frame. It's not like something that somebody has welded together in their garage. I forget who makes it, but uh, it is, it is a frame that someone bought specifically for, you know, a Model A uh, type street rod. Um, in front of all this stuff here, of course, we always check our front, uh, our front U-joint as well as the rear, nice and tight. This is a Turbo 350 automatic transmission. It's a three-speed auto. Uh, everything's tight and right with it. Shifts great. Um, moving forward to that, this is a 350 small block crate motor. Um, and why I'm telling you about it under here is because I've had this pan off of the thing. It's nice and clean. Everything seems to be nice and tight. Uh, we've got a one-piece oil pan gasket on it that I stuck on it, and uh, it does have four bolt mains, which is pretty sweet. So all positives there as well. Um, exhaust, you can just get a good clean look at it all the way down here. I mean, it's beautiful. It's not overbearingly loud. It's, it's actually pretty nice. You know, it's got a nice throaty rumble to it, but once again, it's actually pretty, pretty pleasant to drive, and that's because it doesn't have some big, ridiculous muffler set up on the back. You've just got true duels with uh, a relatively normal muffler. Um, in the front, we do have disc brakes in the front, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, we have manual brakes on this thing with Goodyear lines in the front as well. We've looked at these. All of our uh, discs are in good shape on it. Shocks are in good shape. Uh, lowered axle on the thing, so it does sit pretty nice. It's got that good stanced look. Overall, a pretty cool truck. Very nice build, for a freshly greased front end, and as you can guess, I changed the oil in it too for you guys. Let's check it, uh, take a look at wheels and tires. All right, guys, in the front, we've got uh, smaller tires in the front than in the back to kind of increase that stance look that this thing's got. It's a 185-70 R14 in the front, which means it's on a 14 Krager SS. You can look, there's our, I believe these are GM uh, discs on the front of it. Good looking stuff. Let's go check out the rear. All right, guys, in the back, we've got a, quite a bit bigger tire on it. We've got a 255-70 R15, so we've got a bigger rim in the, uh, in the back than you do in the front. And uh, the bigger tire size in the back actually helps out with the rear end ratio. And this thing, we've actually had this thing on the freeway and it only tacks like, what, 20, 2200 RPM or something like that, up to about 60, 65 mile an hour. So very pleasant. And if I didn't mention it in the undercarriage section of the video, this is an open rear end in, in this thing. Let's go check out the motor. All right, guys, Chevy small block. Like I said, this is a, uh, just a GM crate motor. Um, it's a relatively modern block on this thing. Um, we have, uh, as you can see, we've got a set of like little shorty headers on the thing, low car dipstick. Uh, you can see we've got a chrome alternator on it. All the belts look like they're in good shape. All the rubber stuff is in good shape. And of course, we've looked at all of it in our inspection. Um, carburetor is about a 600 CFM Edelbrock carburetor, which is essentially just a Carter AFB. Uh, we've got uh, Edelbrock intake manifold on the thing. It is a dual plane intake. Um, behind that, looks like we have a performance distributor uh, with uh, MSG Street Fire wires, Excel coil. You know, it, it's, it's been hopped up a little bit and it runs like it. It runs uh, actually pretty, pretty well. So uh, let's go check out the other side. All right, guys, on this side, it's pretty much the same thing. You can see we've actually got the chrome vacuum canister on the uh, distributor here. So you actually do have a vacuum uh, feed to the uh, distributor to 
advanced timing at cruise and things of that nature, so drivability things. Uh, fuel regulator, or fuel pressure regulator, I should say, right here. Uh, nice made line. We do have an electric fan on the front of this thing too, and we actually sat out there and let it idle for quite some time, and we didn't see anything over 170 uh, de degrees on the, on the fan, and that was at right around 50 degrees outside. So I'd have to say, uh, I wouldn't foresee any uh, real drivability issues with the, this thing as far as cooling goes. Or drivability issues at all, really. This thing, I was impressed with it. For street rods, I was very, very impressed with this thing. So, uh, oh, also, for those of you who don't know, your trans dipstick way back there. It's hidden, another one of those little low car deals. But uh, outside of that, that's about it, guys. If you'd like to have this little street rod parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom with the number below on that Vanguard Motor Sales. Park Thumper in your driveway.